Oh my god, we're rolling! Oh, for the last time this season. Oh, it's been a journey. It has indeed. Hello, Seems everyone. Like we've just done this. Tell me about Hello. it. Hello. I think we're still jet lagged. I think we're still jet lagged. But anyway. Hello Good everyone. Morning. Hello everyone. My name is Asifa Lahore and I'm Britain's first out Muslim drag queen. And I want everyone who's watching this who hasn't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and ki kill and hit the bell <laughs> notification <laughs> button so that you can get future videos. Now, I'm here with my bestie. Good old Shepherd's Bush. Hello everyone, hello Asifa. We have been watching the finale at the Oval Tavern in Croydon. Yes, and it was a fabulous wow, little event. Wow, 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 wow. What a finale, I have to say. Can I, I just want to say thank you to everyone at the Oval Tavern who joined us. It was a packed out and event. thank you so much to the wonderful Esther who has, you know, championed it and really made it happen yes the official croydon rupaul's drag race parties have been amazing these past eight weeks and thank you for all the support that we received the wonderful flowers and also and Alessandro. it's just such such support exactly um shepherds bush and i will be at rupaul's drag con uk in january 2020 we will be there with our exotic jewels We'll be there with our exotic jewels, so come and say hi if you come and see us. We will We've give you kisses. Our own mannequins. Yes, we are and amazing. And anything else, babes. Exactly. I'm open for taking. If you like our jewelry, you'll love our stall. Yeah. Um, but jewelry let's and talk hand about. Jobs done. Yes, jewelry and hand jobs. But let's talk about the finale. Yes. Do you know what? That's one of the best finales of RuPaul's Drag Race I have ever, ever, ever seen. In the longest time. It harks back to me to season three, season six. It's a, it was a really strong top three. It was such a strong top three. I think any of them could have won. Obviously, we know from previous seasons that a finale... We'll be in bed soon. Oh God, I'm so jet lagged. We will, we know from previous finales that there's always a performance base. So either, you know, the Queen's um, basically I in a music video of RuPaul's songs or they do a remix of RuPaul's yeah. songs. And the, in this finale, there was a remix to RuPaul's song, Rocket to the Moon. Which to, I must say... To, to the Moon. That song is catchy and it's set in It the is drama. super catchy. Love it. Um, um, but before we got there, each three of the queen, the top three queens, just had a moment to kind of really think about you know, what they'd achieved. Yes. Which was, you know, so momentous. Because again, they're the first British queens yeah. to have this privilege of being, you know, the, the top three. Yes. And they just spoke about what it meant to them, what it meant being there, Yeah. you know, as those three. Yeah. And you really saw, you know, how much it meant to each of them. And how, yeah. You know, they all represent something different yeah but it really meant a lot to them my heart went out to to vivian when she spoke about her you know her addiction past um to bagger who spoke about you know her insecurities of her family and how that's impacted her mm. to davina speaking about how hard she pushes herself and how you know she felt that she is really good and she is really polished yeah there, there was just such vulnerability with these top three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they weren't afraid to show it. Even Bagger, like when she was talking about her relationship with her mum. It was quite moving. I found that quite honest and moving. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I couldn't care too much about the remix, about the song. Like, I didn't... That song I like, RuPaul's version on itself. I wasn't that blown over by... The remix if i'm honest with you yeah i think the verses each ver each of the top three verses just kind of blended into and each again, other because we didn't know that they were actually recording a verse yeah when they started singing i was like oh it's the actual verse no but it was they rupaul did say at the start that you will be recording your own oh, verse but they didn't show that they didn't show the recording of it which i found quite odd because you know again because there was so much to pack in that 
when they started singing, I was like, that, that sounds like that girl. Yeah. It just caught me off guard. Yeah. Um, there were certain things that I loved about the finale, like little tweaks that, you know, the US version doesn't have. So, for example, they kind of had the reunion episode within the finale where yes, the queens were very turned. quick. Yeah. But I think that really worked. Yeah, it did. And that was the real plus of the UK yeah. series where yeah. they kind of just condensed, condensed everything. It. Yeah. Yes. I think it was good having it just one episode. You know, we had Untucked in the same episode, we had the reunion in it. And it was really good to see those queens in there. Yeah. You know, cracking jokes. Yes. You know, saying, you know, <laughs> something wrong pulling their legs. Saying, yeah. You know, we're here to judge you, choose top two. Yeah. That was really, really yeah, funny. I'm glad good we got to see, see them that. all. And Vinegar Shrugs killed it. She looked amazing. <laughs> Bar nearly falling when she came onto the runway. Yeah. But just, it was such a strong episode. Um, let's talk about the final performance. So they had to do like a strictly come dancing sort of skip they had to dance yeah um bagger killed it <laughs> well bagger's just such a performer isn't she i love bagger i thought she was amazing um davina was wow yes like wow 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 but again the vivian holds her own yeah 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 and then um top three um you know runway look oh wow i have to say for me bagger looked okay but Davina and the Vivian were just oh exquisite, God. absolutely exquisite. The Vivian was resplendent. Yeah, resplendent was stunning. It was um, so beautiful. And then you know, let's let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, top two. The top two were Vivian and Davina. Davina. Deserve it. Very much so. I love Bagger. Yeah. Love what she represents. Yeah. However, I felt that she was pipped up to the post by the other two. I think of the top three, you you had Bagger, then there's a massive gap, and then you had the other two. That's yeah. how I felt. Like, Bagger is amazing. She's an amazing performer. But of the other two, I just wish Bagger had a little bit more self-belief. Like, she's got it, but she just... You know, needs to polish up, I guess, in, in other yeah. areas. Um, what did you think of the final lip sync? Which was to uh, I'm Your Man by, by Wham, Wham. Which was a very interesting yes. choice. It was very um, it was very British, which is what very I loved about British. it. Um, I quite liked having, you know, a song sang, you know, by men. A male vocal, yeah. And I think they really held their own. Yeah. At one point, I thought Davina was clinching it. But yeah. then... The Vivian was not letting go. Yeah, yeah. It was a very, very, very good lip sync. Do you want to tell them who the winner? Let's and do it the, together. Okay, the winner of the first season oh, of Drag who? Race UK was, was the, the Vivian. Vivian. And I, I've been saying this for the last few days, that it was going to be the Vivian. Just, um, for me, the top two had always been the Vivian and Davina. Davina. For the last few few weeks, I just... Yes, we'd see, we've seen this vulnerability in both of them, really. Mm. Uh, but if we think about RuPaul's Drag Race as a franchise, RuPaul himself, pardon me, always veers towards femininity, mm -hmm. towards glamour, towards gla glamour? Towards glamour, towards beauty. Mm. And I think the Vivian um, was a more polished package. Mm. And, you know, she had RuPaul's Drag Race several... You could see that she's been practising and perfecting and waiting for this moment. Mm -hmm. There is a cynic in me that says, has she been given this win because she was, you know, the RuPaul and, you know, Drag Race ambassador and her winning this kind of cements that win... But I, I'd like to think that she came to play. Mm. I, I'll be honest, I was very disappointed that Davina didn't win. Not only, obviously, you know, I know Davina from the scene, but um, I was disappointed that Davina didn't win just because I think she represented the competition. She was all-rounded. She, she was never in the bottom, for example. No, she wasn't. Um, you know when RuPaul said, you know, that the Vivian represented 21st century drag? Yeah. 
I thought she's got it. Right, okay. In, 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 in that packed room that we were in, yeah. I was one of the only people seeing the Vivian. Yeah, yeah, you were. Everyone just, was you, screaming for the Not that I knew, but listen, the Vina has been the most vulnerable and the most real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, good luck to all of them. So everyone who took part and made the casting in, in this year's Drag Race UK, it was a phenomenal success. Mm, amazing. I mean, 6.5 million views, uh, you know, and that was just at episode six. six. God, I think this must be widely watched uh, finale in the UK. It's been a major hit on BBC Three. I'm so glad season two has been commissioned. I'm already looking forward to it next year. And I, um, I, what do we hope for season two? What do I hope for season two? Just more diversity in the cast. I'd love to yeah. see more people of colour. Um, I'd love to see different types of drag. Yes. You know, that would be nice. It would be great to see some more trans representation. I would love to see trans representation. Um, and, you know, perhaps even a bio queen. Yeah, maybe even a bio queen. I hope that we get to the point where we acknowledge that drag isn't just LGB or or G specific. Because, mm. you know, there are so many facets to drag and drag is just, you know, getting that bravado and standing up. Mm, definitely. And I wish, you know, the show uh, showcased that a bit more. Yeah. But, you know, it really does so much. Yeah. And we are so lucky to have it you know, as a platform, and also to have our own franchise now. I'm just so glad that we've got something that is undeniably LGBT and queer on the BBC. On the BBC. DDC. On the, the BBC. BBC. As RuPaul said, you're watching the BBC. There you go. And on that note, honeys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching us and... Uh, listening to our ra rants, 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 and rabbiting on, and hopefully we'll see you for season two. Yes, we shall be doing season two, and also we shall be reviewing All Stars 5 as well, which oh will be starting God. very soon, which is next Ooh, month. Chills. All there's chills a, up and down. Polter 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 I can't speak English. Let's polter finish this. Yeah, let's finish this. We're both tired and jet lag, and we need our bed. So, Phil, right now, enjoy the finale if you haven't watched it, but... Bye! Bye. Oh, I'm done. Honey, we are exhausted, aren't we? I'm like, need my bed and everything. I want some...